Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, my dear Capricorns, you may notice that I have a different setup. I have relocated to Rome, Italy uh, for the next couple of months, so just bear with me as I'm going through this little transition and I see what works best for readings. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles. So you have somebody, I feel what I'm hearing here is somebody ready for love. Um, the Six of Pentacles is also somebody who's really quite balanced. Some of you, you might meet this person. I know it's festival season, so you might meet them at a festival um, or you might meet them at like an outdoor concert or maybe that's gonna be or is your first date. Oh, Capricorn, we've got the moon card. So you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces, but somebody who's very mysterious and intuitive, loving, compassionate, but they're definitely gonna be a bit elusive. And what they like about you, the Wheel of Fortune. So they see you as absolutely as a part of their destiny, but they also see your worth and your value. And they see that you have a lot to offer. And you could be dealing with a Cancerian, somebody who's, you know, very on the same axis as you. But I love that because it's like opposites attract or you have what each other needs. I'm definitely seeing that yin yang energy with the six of pentacles here. Um, and we've got the knight of pentacles. This is about slow and steady wins the race. You've got somebody here that's on the same page, Capricorn. I feel like it's gonna be a really, like a beautiful breath of fresh air. Things are gonna move forward with you and this person. I feel pretty seamlessly, pretty easily. Um, I feel like you want the same things in life or you really like you enjoy life in the same way. Um, so really strong compatibility here, Capricorn. But let's see, they're showing up as the six of pentacles. So this is somebody who's probably going to date you or court you in a traditional manner or vice versa, right? Um, you two might be from different backgrounds. Uh, but again, there's something about you two that just feels like it works regardless. And we see the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person is somebody, they're intelligent. This person's in alignment. Like what a breath of fresh air, Capricorn, because this person sees clearly. I also see because she has her eyes closed. This is somebody who may have a tendency to overthink, but this person, when they make a decision, when they speak, they do it with intention. They know what they want. They're quite decisive. This is also somebody who's ready. They're ready for love. They're ready for a healthy new connection. Wow, and we've got the sun card, Leo energy. So they could have Leo in their chart. Somebody very happy, somebody very large hearted, somebody who probably feels grateful because I, they feel they've manifested you is what I'm getting, but they're open and they're ready for love. And this is somebody who's gonna be very loyal, very fun, very playful, very passionate, very sensual as well as what I'm getting. And most likely they do get a lot of attention but it hasn't gone to their head. And I feel with the five of cups in reverse, it's possible this person has been in a state of healing. And for a very, very select few of you, I'm not gonna write off that it could be somebody that wants to heal things with you, but more so Capricorn, I'm just getting that this person, you know, they've done their work. They've been healing. And that's why you two are being brought together. And I love this energy. I'm not sure what's going on right now in the stars, but I'm seeing like healthy relationships coming together. Um, so yeah, a lot of people have been on that health and wellness journey and it's paying off. Um, all right. So let's see clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns. Who is this person? Who is this person? All right. So they could be a Gemini or have strong Gemini placements. So they're symbolized by the twins ruled by Mercury, Mercury. They're the thinkers and communicators of the Zodiac with many facets. Aries. Okay, so they could have these energies in their chart, like sun, moon, rising, Venus, a north node, uh, Mars placement. Um, and if they're, if they're, Mars is in Aries, they definitely embody masculinity here, but 
Um, they're strong, they're resilient, they're a risk taker, they're carefree, they have a youthful personality. And this person may have children. Again, my readings are not gender specific, so, um, but this, this could be a situation where blended family is the result or you become a surrogate parent. Um, it could also just be that this person, that's what they're looking for. You know, they want, they want to build, they want to grow, they want something solid, they want to build a legacy. And for a lot of my Capricorns, this person may be an entrepreneur. Um, again, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have their own business, but they have that spirit of entrepreneurialism, which is definitely a hard word to say. <laughs> Can I get an applause, please, if I deserve one? I don't know. Um, but they definitely work hard. They're investing in their future. And they definitely have that like creative do-it-for-themselves type energy. Okay. So let's see what else we need to know about this person. With the moon, I feel this person's very compassionate, loving, protective, loyal. They're emotional. They're also like elusive, romantic. They have deep feelings. So this is definitely somebody that you're going to want to scratch the surface with. Um, I also feel, you know, we see that wolf howling at the moon there. I feel like you and this person might have some crazy times together, but crazy in like a good way. Like, I don't know, you two kind of like end up on... You know, you end up off on like really fun little journeys or I kind of see your first date going a really long time. <laughs> like, I don't know, like where you bounce all over the place or you go to different places or I don't know, like they show you their favorite. I don't know. I know this sounds really bizarre, but their favorite secret hiding spot is what I heard. But I, I don't think that's really the case. But like maybe their favorite secret spot that has a beautiful view of the city or their favorite place to, you know, watch the moon rise or something like that. I, I feel like there's going to be something quite spectacular here. Um, but let's see. Um, now, for some of you, this is somebody from your past. But again, my intentions for this reading Capricorn is that this is somebody completely brand new. So it's not going to be the case for all of you. And don't don't get too scared yet, all right? This person may be curvy or they love your curves and they may be bald or buzzed or have short hair. And this person loves to experiment. You know, I feel like if this is a feminine energy, this person may have like shaved their head. I don't know if it was during the pandemic or maybe in solidarity with a friend who had to shave their head um, or possibly even like if they were a little bit more punk rock when they were in high school. That's if it's like more of a feminine energy. Um, again, this person just might love your curves and have short hair. <laughs> All right, let's see, Capricorn, what messages come through. What else do you need to know about this person? Or how else will you be able to identify this person? All right, they may have a triple syllable, first, middle, or last name. They may have an odd numbered birth year. They're definitely musically inclined. And they may wear jewelry. They may like to wear rings. This to me also as a reader can indicate that they have been married before. Maybe this person has tried calling you. I am actually getting some of you. You might want to check your, I don't know why their message would go to your spam folder. I don't know if they're old school and they send emails, but you might want to check your messages because this person may have already tried to contact you, especially if there's somebody new and they're like you're on an online dating site. Just go in and check because it could be that they're reaching out. I also get with this card, Capricorn, that they could be a bit more traditional where they like to pick up the phone and call. And again, this person might even like send you an email, which I know sounds like a little bit archaic, but I'm seeing it as, you know, kind of endearing here that this person may be a bit more traditional. I feel like my Capricorns, you're not gonna mind that. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what else do my Capricorns need to know about this person or about this connection? This person's gonna be a great cook. All right, so a badass in the kitchen. They may come from a different different ethnic background. Um, I'm definitely seeing somebody who likes hot, like chilies, chili peppers, or cooks with chili. Um, you know, I was getting really like anything like, um, yeah, I was getting like Indian or Mexican food. Maybe that's their specialty, or maybe that's where they're from. Um, they may work at, uh, they may be a restaurant owner or work in the culinary field as well. I definitely feel like they've got quite a, uh, quite the palate, if you will. So I see you going out and trying new restaurants, different things. This person is successful. They're a business person. They're going to be well-dressed. And yeah, you're going to find security. See, I think you're going to really like that. I was getting that. They're also going to really like that about you. Reliable, dependable, and committed. And this person is also tall. All right, so you're going to also feel quite safe with this person. 
And, you know, safety is so huge in a relationship. And what I mean by that is that they're going to be protective and there's also going to be trust that, you know, this person has your back. So, you know, Capricorn, I don't, you know, it really doesn't get better than that, right? All right, they're going to see you as the wheel of fortune. Don't be worried. It does not mean that this person is a gold digger and they see you as, you know, they see you with money signs in their eyes. Um, but I feel like this wheel of fortune is they definitely see that you're, that you're the part of their destiny. Um, they see your worth and your value. And this is somebody that doesn't want to, you know, ignore that or lose that. All right. And they see marriage, commitment, and a family with you. If, you know, if that's, you're, you're going to be on the same page about those things. If you want family or not, or if, you know, if, if that's a reality for you. You're going to make this person so happy. Pay attention to the 10, 10 see, uh, number sequence. You might be seeing that on the clock with more frequency on license plates, on invoices, you know, you name it. I feel like that's definitely going to be showing up for you when this person's around or just to let you know that you're on the right path. We're getting some confirmation from some sirens. Gotta love it. All right, and the Five of Cups here is, um, yeah, you know, this person might also recognize that you've been disappointed in love, but again, I feel like this is somebody that's gonna just like, they're the person that's gonna give you that big hug right when you need it. I'm getting that Leo energy, like this person's supportive, they've got your back. Um, and the Hermit here in reverse, they could be a secret admirer, they could have Virgo um, in their chart. You know, just be careful of overthinking things. Um, Excuse me. Sorry about that. I am wearing headphones with a mic, so I hope that wasn't too loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So the, there's somebody here could be an overthinker. The hermit card too could also be this person being, um, yeah, like kind of just like coming out of the woodwork, coming out of nowhere too. All right. Um, what else do they love about my Capricorns, please? Ooh. See, they're going to love the way you take care of yourself physically. Um, they might, you know, you two might really be like into working out. Um, you both might be really into like your health and wellness, what you're putting into your body. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing like two people like mixing up athletic greens, um, protein shakes, that type of thing. But this person's going to be very physically attracted to you, Capricorn, regardless of whether or not you use those things I just mentioned. And they also are gonna really trust you. And they also love that people come to you for advice, Capricorn, and that you're considerate of other people's feelings, but that you're not like a drama queen, that you're not a gossip. And yeah, I, I feel like I'm seeing possibly like you two both enjoy climbing or you enjoy the outdoors. Um, you two both might have pets. I'm seeing that showing up there with the chariot card as well. Um, or that you both love nature, or you kind of, I feel like you both probably eat organically or like like natural food. You just, you're compatible, all right? You fe it feels like your lifestyles are very compatible whether you're that way or not, okay? So what else you need to know the chariot card? So it could be happening right now as we speak, cancer season. Um, I do feel pets are gonna be important, or maybe you meet this person like at the dog park, or maybe as a result of you two, you know, walking your dogs in the same neighborhood or something like that. But it doesn't have to be that. It really, this Cancerian energy is loving, it's protective, and it's like this connection is going somewhere, okay? All right, so this person is gonna be a support system for you. They may already be in your inner circle and revealing deep feelings like they wanna be more. Now, it is also possible, Capricorn, with this Five of Cups showing up how they see you, they might be waiting for you to heal from something. You know, a relationship that didn't go as planned, um, you know, or just, you know, healing from something, um, a loss, finances, really it could be anything. And yeah, as I say, finances out pops finances. Somebody here might be going through financial difficulties. It could be them. It could be you. Um, there could be a little bit of an energy of lack. So that could be just a little bit of a fear of, you know, am I bringing enough to the, to the table in this relationship? Um, but spirit's saying, try something you've never done before. There's going to be a lot of passion between the two of you. You know, it feels good, although there, you know, there are challenges in every relationship. You know, this person, again, they might be, I do feel like they're reliable and they're, depend, they're dependable. And they see you as the wheel of fortune. They see you as a potential power couple. But I do feel it's possible work might get in the way here at times. Or maybe that's a little bit of an obstacle uh, getting this connection off the ground. 
All right, so yeah, time apart. Some of you, you're in separation from this person. We've already been over that. But you know, for others of you, this time apart card could just be that you know you might be healing from a separation. And it's like this person's close, they're coming in, but you may need to heal from that first or maybe they're waiting for that if they know you. All right, so pay attention to the signs and synchronicities the universe is giving you. And yeah, you two are gonna be falling in love. There may be sudden feelings that this is the one. And look at that, we get twin flame recognition. So you know this soul that mirrors your own. A lot of you out there, you already know who I'm talking about here. You already know. <laughs> All right, so let's see. When, can we get some important dates here for my Capricorns, please? Some important dates for my Capricorns, please. All right, now is not the right timing, so there might be a little bit of a wait here, Capricorn. Next week, okay, so maybe not this week, but next week <laughs> and in the distant future. All right, so, and we get very soon. So really it's probably happening sooner than you realize, um, but it does, you know, it feels like it may be contingent or contingent on you healing from something because again, with the five of cups here, your focus might be on someone or something else and this person, this twin flame recognition might be right behind you or right next to you. So again, just a reminder, Capricorns as well, just remember to look up, remember to smile. You never know who's falling in love with you. And again, this person might already be around you and you just haven't really picked up on it yet. All right, I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Capricorns, take care.